Welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. I'm of course Nikki and today we do have the Owl Crate April 2022 box unopening and I want to apologize to everyone that I've been kind of MIA. I did have one of my cats um, pass away a couple weeks ago so I just kind of took a break from everything. Literally the only thing I really did was my my full-time job. Um, I'm still kind of sad, but I'm hoping to kind of get back into the groove of things and get back to my responsibilities. So thank you for staying with me and let's go ahead and get into what you actually came here to see, which is the Owl Crate unboxing for April 2022. So of course, the first thing I like to look at is the artwork, which is always very cute. And on the back side, we do have the theme for this month, which is Peek Behind the Curtain. So this is the April 2022 Owl Crate theme, Peek Behind the Curtain. First up, we do have Bones Coffee Company presents Angel of Music Chocolate Eclair. It is a medium roast coffee. We're a bit obsessed with this Phantom of the Opera inspired coffee that Bones Coffee Co. blended exclusively for this box. You won't need to turn your face away from the garish light of day once you've had a cup of this delicious chocolate eclair flavored brew. And I'm so sad because I would really, 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 really like to drink this, but I cannot have caffeine. I do have really bad anxieties and caffeine just tends to make it a whole lot worse. So I am looking forward to gifting this to one of my friends who likes to drink caffeinated coffee. I actually have to drink decaf. But I'm so jealous because I would really like to try some of this. Maybe I can take a sip of hers. Next up, we do have this silicone popcorn holder. I like the detail on it. Lichen and Limestone helped us create this fun in world souvenir style silicone popcorn holder inspired by Where Dreams Descend. Follow the card's directions to pop yourself some delicious popcorn for your next cozy reading session. If I'm not mistaken, I think Where Dreams Descend was actually a past Owl Crate book. If my memory serves me right, which I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was. I don't think I've read it yet. So and here is that card that tells you how to use the popcorn holder. Next up, we have this box, and I don't know about you all, but I'm really digging how they're decorating their boxes now, makes them pretty, and of course, makes them reusable if you don't want to keep using it for the item that came inside. So this box says, for finding dreams that don't exist yet. Let's go ahead and open this up. very excited for this as if you don't know this is a wax seal stamp kit so this is the wax this is the stamp i actually do write a lot of letters and so i use these a lot i have a whole bunch so i'm very excited to have another one added to my collection transform all your written correspondence into special deliveries with this once upon a broken heart inspired wax seal kit designed by at paperback bones and lady chub letters so to show you all the details on this stamp We got, of course, our literary luggage, enamel pin, this 
So this is inspired by the Night Circus, for those that recognize. We find ourselves among the towering tents in this Night Circus-inspired literary luggage enamel pin from Hey Atlas Creative. Next up is this box. The circus arrives without warning. So this is a clock inspired by the night circus designed with love by no one. Here is this very beautiful and dreamy clock. I'm really liking this. No one designs conjured up a bit of magic for this wall clock inspired by the night circus. Perfect addition for your desk area or any place that could use a bit of dreaminess added to its decor. And I do actually plan on putting this in my office because I do not have a wall clock in my office. So this is perfect. I also like the fact that it's so very, very pretty. It does require batteries, of course, just like any other clock would. And I still haven't read The Night Circus. Again, one of those books that's on my to-read list. Next up, we have this mouse pad. Outside, things may be tragic, but in here, we feel it's magic. Bring the darkly romantic vibes of Moulin Rouge to your desk with this mouse pad designed by Forensic and Flowers. I'm really liking all the very useful things in this box this month. Before we jump into my favorite part of the box, which of course is the book of the month, I do want to remind you all to please subscribe to my channel. If you guys hear weird noises in the background, I do have a new kitten because my other cat, Kirby, my Maine Coon that you might have all seen in my other videos, has never been alone without a companion. He's nine years old, so um, even though my other cat passed away and I wasn't quite ready to get another cat, it's not fair to Kirby to have him solo, so we did get another kitten, and he is very hyper as all kittens are and he is running around so if you hear weird noises in the background that is the kitten so as i was saying please remember to subscribe to my channel not only do i do owl crate unboxings but i also do book reviews and book recaps so look forward to those i'm hoping to have another one come out within the week so stay tuned for that I'm actually really surprised that the kitten hasn't jumped up into the video already at this point. Just because he's running around my feet being very curious as what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for. The lovely book of the month for April 2022 Owl Crate Box is Hotel Magnifica by Emily J. Taylor. This decadent and darkly enchanting young adult fantasy set against the backdrop of a Belle Epica inspired hotel follows 17 year old Janny as she uncovers the deeply disturbing secrets of the legendary hotel Magnifica. Our signed edition features a glow in the dark exclusive cover. I think that's so cool that the cover is glow in the dark. I don't think I've ever come across a book that had a glow-in-the-dark cover. Artist Jemlin C. created a dreamy scene to serve as a reversible dust jacket. Look. I love that they're doing the dust jacket art. I think it is a fantastic way to use the space because normally the dust jacket is just blank. And it's also a great way for artists to get out their artwork in a very fun, creative manner. And I think this is just pretty. Liking those details. The colors. Very nice. 
You'll also find an exclusive printed hardcover case beneath the jacket. Exclusive end pages. And of course, the letter from the author, Emily J. Taylor. So that is it for the items in the Owl Crate box. But wait, there's always more because we have our newsletter to go through. First up, we always have an interview with the author. We then have the difference between the uh, regular cover and the Owl Crate exclusive. I think both of these are stunning. You know, there just seems to be a color difference. Um, and then, of course, the regular one is not glow in the dark, which I'm actually really curious to see my book glow in the dark. I think that's a cool feature. I feel like a little kid right now just being like, I'm excited about something that's glow in the dark, but whatever. S small things in life, right? So next up in the newsletter is always something fun, like a quiz, a word puzzle. And this month, I'm very excited to share that they have Shakespearean Young Adult Retellings List. I'm very excited about this. I do actually really enjoy retellings. Next up, we have book recommendations. If you end up liking the book of the month, Hotel Magnifica. And these recommendations are Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. I have read that book. It was a previous Owl Crate book. My review for that book should be coming out sometime soon, hopefully within the next month. Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I have not read this. This is on my to-read list. I have read the Caravel series, and I absolutely love that. So I'm excited to read Once Upon a Broken Heart. The next recommendation is Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. And this also was a previous Owl Crate book that I have not gotten to yet. But I will get there. I promise. Next up, there's always an interview with the vendor, and this month is with No One Designs, who did our clock. Information about the photo challenge and the owl babble, so that is a live chat with the author of the book of the month. My favorite piece in the newsletter is this, which is the Spotify playlist, which is Peek Behind the Curtain, a playlist of our favorite songs from musicals to sing along. And finally, other releases we're excited about this month, Queen of the Tiles by Hannah Alcaf, The Drowning Summer by Christine... Lynn Herman, An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan, Sophie and the Bone Song by Adrian Tooley, and This Rebel Heart by Catherine Locke. Last thing we got in our box is, of course, the theme for the May box. But before I announce that, again, Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you guys all for my next Owl Crate unboxing, but also my book reviews and my book recaps. Just so you know, my book reviews are non-spoiler. So again, my book reviews are non-spoiler. Book recaps are obviously what they sound like, so it's a complete spoiler of the whole entire book. Please also don't forget to like and comment. I always try to respond to everyone as soon as possible. I love hearing from you all. I like engaging with all of you. Thanks everyone. I'm really excited to have you join my channel. Let's get back to it. So the Owl Crate May box theme is The Chosen Ones. And every May box will include an exclusive item designed by Blissfully Bookish Co. 
So look forward to my unboxing video next month of The Chosen Ones. I'm very excited. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Again, this is Nikki Loves Books. I hope to catch you all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.